Welcome everybody to the Lenox Select Board meeting. It's March 1st, 2023. It is now six o'clock and we'll begin our, we'll begin our meeting. Uh, I have no, uh, no announcements from the chair at the moment. So the first thing I'll do is accept the minutes of February 15th. All right, Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the minutes from the Febru February 15th meeting of the Lenox Select Board. Uh, I'll, I'll second it, but I'll abstain from voting. I wasn't here last week. Okay, in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, so we have Citizens Open Forum. I see some new faces out there, so let me just explain the uh, procedure. You've got two minutes to get up there and talk, give your name, your address, and then give us two minutes. We ask that you be uh, brief and respectful of everybody here who's here, and if if there are more than one people on the same subject, let's not let's not rehash the same things. Okay, if you have just say me too. So why don't we go ahead and start? Who's here for Citizens Open Forum? Yes, sir. Hi, I am um, Michael Medeiros. I live at 83 Crystal Street in Lennoxdale, and I would like to bring to the attention of the townspeople and select board the current situation and issues. Um, uh, as of December 2nd, 2022, the Kohlenbergers have moved in next door to us, um, immediate neighbors. Uh, we share a driveway with them, and they brought with them their intentions and purposes of running their kennel and business out of said residence. And this has caused a lot of uh, stress, and um, with their many dogs and puppies that they um, have on the residence has caused quite a nuisance, especially for us and my elderly father that we take care of with many he health issues. And it's um, essential to his quality of life that he has peace and quiet, which he's always had, and his rest. And since ever since they've moved in has caused uh, public nuisance, whereas the, the many dogs uh, loudly bark and uh, disturb us, waking us up uh, as early as 6 a.m., all the way till sometimes 10 p.m. And um, there's many other things uh, where, you know, just disturbing the peace and, and causing a nuisance for the whole neighborhood, really. Um, also, the farm animals that they are uh, currently bringing into the residence is causing a lot of manure, which is also another nuisance with the odor and the effluent runoff into the public uh, into the abutting neighbor's yards and the public walkway and so on. Um, with that said, um, it's really just diminished our quality of life, especially for my father and probably the whole neighborhood, really. And um, I would just like to just bring that to the attention of uh, the town. Um, and also with, with this and their business and such, it's causing a lot of uh, pedestrian and vehicle traffic to utilize the shared driveway, which me and my father actually own, which we've never had to deal with that before. And it, that's causing uh, more stress on us as well um, through the shared driveway easement that has kind of been neglect, neglected by the neighbors. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next. Okay. Oops. Kate McNulty Vaughn, 10 Post Road. Um, I am taking advantage of your camera to do a little early publicity for a very important community event. Um, some of you may remember, and it, this is to benefit the Lennox Food Pantry. Some of you may remember in past years that uh, Mary Spina and Diane Romeo did kind of a, an early spring dance that benefited some charity or another. So we kind of tweaked it and it's up and running. So please put March 25th on your calendar um, and encourage everyone you know to step up and step out. Spring dance to benefit the Lennox Food Pantry at the Lennox Community Center from 7 to 10 p.m. on March 25th. You're a shoe-in with a $10 donation and an unexpired food item. Reserve your spot by calling Kate, me, or Diane for tickets. We're trying to do some of the ticketing ahead. That's 
something that Darlene asked us to do. So let us know if you have a favorite dance tune request for DJ Joe Mindlin. We'll have light snacks available. This is, it's a community dance, but it's not a really a family, family dance, it's just adults. Um, the dance is sponsored by the Lenox Community Center Council on Aging, and we're very grateful for that. Um, and we'd also like to give a shout out to former selectman and just overall civic person, Ken Fowler, and his son Damon, um, who found us the DJ and are covering that cost, which is oh, an enormous nice. contribution. Yeah. And we are just so grateful. Believe me, I made all these calls to everyone I knew. Does anyone know a DJ? <laughs> At my age, you don't know a lot of DJs. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, so please, March 25th, it's at the community center. If you, even if you're not a dancer, please come by, you know, make a donation, sit and talk to friends or whatever, or call us ahead and say, I won't be coming, but you know, we'll come through with the donation. Everybody knows right now there's enormous pressure um, because of some of the federal programs that are finished and also the fact that groceries have just gone sky high. And as somebody who had one, at one time a household of six, um, <laughs> I can only imagine what my food bill would be like if all my kids were home and we were doing everything we were doing. So let's, you know, Lenox has been a wonderful community in terms of community support. So if we can give a boost, a financial boost to the, and also a stuff boost to the food pantry, I think that would be a great thing and get us going for the spring. And I'm going to take advantage, if I may. Um, uh, we also have the Fix-It Fair coming up in April. And um, the date is Saturday, April 22nd. And so all of those things that you need fixed that you've just tossed aside and thought, oh gosh, do I have to throw this away or replace it or whatever, um, we will be again at the community center. And um, there'll be more information on that forthcoming. But you know, for you, those of you who need household items or clothing fixed, um, we're more than happy to help you. And we'll be getting our crew together and be at the community center on Saturday, April 22nd. But March 25th, first and foremost. And if you do Facebook or whatever you can do to get the word out, I would really appreciate that. And so would Diane and, and Mary Spina. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. Thanks. Anybody else going to want to chat today? Okay. So we're not hearing anything else. Let's move on to the uh, consent, agenda. consent agenda. All right. We have a direct town clerk to, re to place a vacancy for the school committee on the May town election ballot for a one-year unexpired term for Robert Vaughn, <coughs> who has resigned. We have an aggregation signatory authorization. Um, that the town manager will be signing for us uh, for a community um, electricity agreement. An appointment to the community center board, Ms. Christy Pru. I'll just put a hold on that. Thank you. And an acceptance or, or approval, acceptance and approval of a deed to property located at zero East Dugway Road. <coughs> so let's, uh, let's vote on everything that wasn't a... Uh, that wasn't held. Oh, yeah. Okay, everything but the appointment for Ms. Pru. I move to approve the consent agenda as presented with the hold item. I'll second it. In favor? Aye. 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 Go ahead, Ed. Just wanted to say thanks to Christy. I know she's a really an upstanding, hardworking, smart girl. You know, got two young kids, and uh, I think she'll be nothing but a great asset to the community center for a lot of years to come. So. Agreed. Christy, thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Super. Um, I move to approve that additional item on the consent agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so our next our next item will be a, uh, a general general business, and do you want to talk about the uh, public hearing? Sure. We've got a public hearing um, for the transfer of an all alcohol restaurant restaurant license by Dinelli Incorporated, doing business as Max Luigi is. is Yes, Seely, manager for the premises located at 16 Church Street. And I will read the public hearing notice. Um, the Town of Lenox uh, notice of public hearing for the select board notice is hereby given that a hearing will be held by the select board in their capacity as licensing board on an application for a transfer of an all of an annual all alcohol restaurant license 
which has been filed with the local licensing board by Dinelli Incorporated doing business as Max. Luigi Iesili, manager for premises located at 16 Church Street, Lenox, and consisting of the dining, lobby, sitting room, and sunroom, which are located on the first floor. The outdoor seating is located near the entrance to the inn, and there is a tavern located in the basement. The board will act on said application on Wednesday, March 1st, 2023 at 6 p.m. in the Select Board's meeting room, Town Hall Building, Lennox Mass, Dave Roach Chair, Lennox Select Board. Uh, I would move to open the public hearing. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chairman, members of the... It's not for us. If I could have done this quietly back hall, I would have known. <laughs> My name is Thomas Hamill. I'm an attorney in Pittsfield. I'm here on behalf of the applicant asking for the transfer of this license. My client is with me. Uh, I noticed uh, before we started the meeting, several of the board members already know who he is, acknowledged who he is, have been to the restaurant. I'd be happy to give you a very ad nauseum presentation, or I can be the quietest person in the room and ask for the transfer of this license. If there's information you would like to know, I'd be happy to provide it. Thanks, Tom. No, I got no questions about it. It's no, I've got no questions. It's a great job. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a lovely establishment, and I'm sure hour. you're just <laughs> looking forward to having the transfer so that you can start business as usual. Thank you. Yeah. So, so I would uh, move. I don't know if anyone. Yeah. Oh, is, is there anybody out there that needs to talk about this restaurant? It's good. <laughs> you. There's an endorsement. Thank you. All right, I would move to close the public hearing. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 And now I will move to approve the application of Dinelli Incorporated doing business as Max for a transfer of an all alcohol beverages license dated January 30th, 2023. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good luck. Delicious food, Less is homemade, <laughs> spectacular. Yeah, Thank you very much. Can't wait. You're welcome, Tom. Have a good day. Right. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do we want to do this? Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you. Mr. Chair, uh, there, uh, I did want to call the board's attention to a one-day uh, all-alcohol license application from Bedford Hall. Uh, place the copy on your desk for you prior to tonight's meeting. Um, this is the type of thing that we would typically put on a consent agenda. Um, and I, I think the fact that we received it today uh, qualifies under the category of uh, not reasonably anticipated by the chair. Um, because you're just seeing it now. Um, so uh, I see no problem in, a, in, a, in approving it. I'll, I'll read the details uh, uh, for, for the benefit of the public record. However, um, the uh, applicant has been uh, appropriately admonished for uh, not submitting it in a timely fashion. <laughs> so the... You're welcome. <laughs> so this is a one-day alcohol, one alcohol license application from Brentford Hall, 104 Walker Street, Lenox, Mass, 01240, um, for an uh, event on Sunday, March 5th, 2023, from 3.30 p.m. to 6 p.m., uh, located at Brentford Hall, um, following a, uh, a lecture um, given at Ventford Hall, anticipated number of attendees, 50. Uh, Colleen Collin uh, is the name of the bartender, uh, and she is TIP certified. Excellent. This is the second time we've gotten um, a skidding in the door application for an all alcohol, one day all alcohol license from Ventford Hall. So um, I would hope that they wouldn't do this again in the future. Agreed. I agree. Um, um, we are kind of like a 401k for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. So I would move to approve this all alcohol license for Bankford Hall for March 5th. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Okay. Okay. So we're going to, you're going to talk to us about the next one. Um, yeah, I am going to ask that since we only have three of us here this evening, uh, we were going to have a discussion regarding the allocation of um, Johnson & Johnson opioid settlement money, but I think we should wait until we have a larger contingent here. I think it's worth that discussion on the 15th. Of, of March, and so I'd, I'd like to delay it until that time. In, in addition to what uh, Ms. Mitz just pointed out, um, I've been in contact with the Board of Health, um, and they, they would actually like to um, have uh, their, their chair and the health director um, uh, come to the March 15th meeting to uh, elaborate a little bit further uh, on the material that they've already provided. Okay. So I think for both of those I think reasons. That's a good idea. Yeah. You know, a first look, it looks like a great idea, but I don't know. Yeah. You know, so I, I'd rather more time myself anyway. Yeah. And so at least we have some information we can read over. Um, the Board of Health will be here, and I think that'll make it a more robust discussion. Mm -hmm. So I would uh, move to table this discussion to the 15th. Okay. Uh, that kind of concludes the meeting. Oh, wait. Hi, I was one minute late. I was here in supporting the um, gentleman who. Yeah. Oh, I go up to the microphone. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm a, I'm a Lennox resident, and I came in support of their idea to not give out the permit to. Okay. Do you want me to? Okay, so let's uh, yeah uh, let's let's talk about that for just briefly for okay. a second. Um, we don't want you to leave here thinking of you fell on deaf ears, but. I'm not sure what our options are, and I'm going to ask the town manager to look, have our staff look into uh, what what the alternatives are on this issue, and we'll get back to you, okay? But we appreciate you coming here tonight. Yes, sir. We, we appreciate you being respectful and, and factual. So we'll uh, we'll definitely look into it. Thank you. We appreciate you guys, too. I have some more stuff to drop off to the town manager, too. Yep. And please, if you could summarize what you said tonight in a letter and send it to the town manager, yeah, we course. greatly appreciate it. Well, we can do that again. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know a couple of other people that wanted to come, but they were working and they thought they could come and Oh, I'm sure. I, I'm, I'm well aware of it. <laughs> oh. I should explain it. What? Yeah, go ahead. Just for a point of information. I mean, I was literally here at 601. That's fine. That's fine. We let you we, we we let you speak, and that's all fine. But with with public or with um, citizens open forum, the intent of that is just for you or whoever to say what's on your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no back and forth discussion. It doesn't work like that because we're not prepared to give an intelligent back and forth discussion. So. You know, you know, you're right, and we gave you a chance now to speak. You know, you, what's on your mind? So, uh, oh, you know, and, oh. and that's about. You know, we we don't we're limited about power we have, but as, as uh, Dave said, we'll instruct the town manager to look at all the legalities and situation okay. around this situation, and we'll move through the system to see what can or can't be done. Thank you for explaining. Okay. This will be one of the shortest selectmen's meetings on record at plate. <laughs> so, but uh, anybody have anything else? Mr. Lane. I don't have anything else. I don't either. It's, uh, well, we thank you for coming out. Uh, let's hope Clarence is wrong on his forecast for the next storm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we thank you all again. So, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh, I move to adjourn the Wednesday, March 1st meeting. Um, our next regular meeting will be Wednesday, March 15th at 6 p.m. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all very much.